If you're like me, and you have an older house, you may have one of these old Honeywell or some other style of thermostats for your furnace. Now, as you see, it's the finish is gone. It's all tarnished. You know, it still works fine, but it's a little uh, outdated for today's technologies. So, I thought I'd show you how to replace one of these with a simple programmable thermostat. As you see here, I have the cover off. I just removed a couple screws. And bang, we have our two wires here. It's a simple system. It's just two wire engagement. I am going to get these two wires, rewire them, and put them to an electronic thermostat. So that'll be next. I will show you the thermostat. So here we have the digital thermostat. This one is obviously used. I got it in renovation. Digital temperature, which I can put in Celsius or Fahrenheit. Programmable. And hey, it's even got a light. I don't know if you can see it this time of day, which you can't, but it lights up blue in the dark. So you can see it without turning the lights on. As you can see, this was hooked up, simple two wire system, much like this. So it's relatively simple install. All I have to do is open this up. On this guy, it is, I just have to press that in right there. And uh, that gets that off. And then all I have to do is undo these two wires, pull them out slightly, undo my screws on the mounting bracket, chuck that in the garbage, and then stick on the mounting bracket from this, wire those wires to this mounting bracket, put it all back together, and it's done. Quick little side note, these two wires, if you look closely, this is actually wired with house wiring, which is improper for 24 volts, but you want to make sure to check your voltage with a meter or some other device just to know for sure because you don't want to electrocute yourself. Another thing, if you know you're unsure if it'll work or not, simple where it's simple to wire thermostat, all it does is turn it on and off. So you see, you grind them out, Oop. you touch them together, you can't hear it. But the furnace kicked on in the basement. It's very simple. It's just a switch. There we go. The mounting plate for the new thermostat is mounted. Here's my wires here. I, I know they're 20 or the 12. Yeah, they're 24 volt rather. So they won't electrocute me. Usually most heating systems do run 24 volt unless they're electric like this one. They run straight AC. So watch when you know, you're playing with the thermostat. Now, you may notice, I don't know if my camera has enough focus. But there's different labels and four different screw terminals. The other one just had two. Well, I already knew, because the wires were hooked up, and I already know anyways, that your R and W, which are usually your red and your white wires, are your two that you want to power your furnace. Now, if it's just a straight two-wire system, those two are usually what you're going to use. Not always. It can be different. You know, you might have to look at your uh, manual or your wiring diagram to know for sure. There's lots of different wiring out there. But as a general rule, those are going to be your two that start your furnace. G usually is for your fan. If you have a, another wire, usually a green one, uh, that will be your fan on-off switch. And on this thermostat, it does have an option to turn the fan itself on and off. I don't have that hooked to the uh, furnace. I'm sure my furnace does accept that, but I don't really care that much. And then there's your Y wire, your, which is usually your yellow wire. And that's your heat call wire that, again, it's if that's if you're using a, a four wire system. And my thermostat does support that, obviously. That's why it has the option. But I'm not doing that. I'm just going to my R and my W. Now, which way do I hook these up? I have black and W, white. But white's white, so... I'm going to just assume, now you should check on your furnace to be 100% sure, but it doesn't always make, make a difference. I'm just going to assume that white's going to be white and red will be black, so that's what 
two I'll hook it up to, and then I'll hook the rest of it up, and I'll have a programmable thermostat. And there you go. Simple as that. It's now hooked up. I don't know if you can hear it. The furnace is running. Trying to achieve set point of 75 degrees. And there you go. Now the fun part. Which can be equally as fun and different things. Is programming, setting your time, and all that fun stuff. But that's not what I'm here for. I'm just here to show you how to put this in. Hope you enjoyed this video.